Bhagavad Gita, chapter 2nd, text 17 onwards. Today we are starting. So, 17 to 25. Okay, is the uh, one section where Krishna speaks about the characteristics of the soul. Okay, so. <coughs> okay so 2.17 and 2.18 basically says that the soul cannot be killed and the body cannot be saved from death okay okay so let's see avinashi तु तद्विधि ये न सर्वम् इदम् ततम् विनाशम् अव्ययस्यास्य न कशित कर्तुम् अर्हति That which pervades the entire body, you should know to be indestructible. No one is able to destroy that imperishable soul. Purport by Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. This verse more clearly explains the real nature of the soul, which is spread all over the body. Okay. Anyone? So this is nature of the soul. What is that? That it spreads all over the body. That's why wherever when a person is alive when you pinch somewhere mm, this uh, he feels it pain or something right so anyone can understand what is spread all over the body it is consciousness so you can say we can understand that symptoms of the soul is consciousness everyone is conscious of the pains and pleasures of the body in part or as a whole. This spreading of consciousness is limited within one's own body. This is another point here that this consciousness is uh, limited only in one's body. So it's not like something like supreme or something you know, which is like for Paramatma he is in he knows about all the body. He is aware of all the body. But soul is aware about only his body. The pains and pleasure of the body are unknown to another. So, what pains and pleasure I am experiencing in my body, it is unknown to other, other soul. The soul residing in other body. Therefore, each and every body is the embodiment of an individual soul and the symptom of the soul's presence is perceived as individual consciousness. Okay. So, Prabhupada is saying that each and every body is the embodiment of an individual soul. Soul is basically individual. That's what the main point here to be understood. Okay, so therefore, each and every body is the embodiment of an individual soul and the symptom of soul's presence is perceived as individual consciousness. Okay, so it's not something like kind of merged way, it is individual consciousness. This soul is described as one ten thousand part of the upper portion of the here four point inside. So the here, uh, the size of the soul is being mentioned. Okay. Okay. The Shweta Shweta Upanishad confirms this Balagrashat Bhagasya Satadha kalpitasya cha bhago jiva savigyeha sa cha anandaya kalpate. 
when the upper point of ear is divided into 100 parts and again each of such part is further divided into 100 parts each such part is the measurement of the dimension of the spirit soul that's the size you take one, one here tip of the ear divided into thousand and then again thousand and like that okay sorry ten thousand parts so hundred and then one part you take and divide it again into hundred parts and that one part that is the size of the soul okay another uh, reference is there similarly the same version is stated keshagra shata bhagasya shata mahasya shatamsha sadrashatmakaha jeeva sukshma sarupo ayam sankhya tito hi chitkanaha there are innumerable particles of spiritual atoms innumerable particles of spiritual atoms which are measured as one ten thousand of the upper portion of the hair okay so therefore the it is very tiny we have to understand our that we are so insignificant compared to universe compared to the whole creation it's very small just think the one ten thousand part of the tip of the hair small thing that is the size of the soul and that is our uh, existence you see how insignificant we are and sometimes we get so much proud about our power and our strength and money or whatever whatever opulences we have so we have to see that so insignificant we are okay sometimes people get so proud about their power and all and they they decline god's existence and they everything they do not uh, respect anyone anymore like that and they think now they have achieved everything and they are done okay so we have to understand even like hiranyakashipu such kind of great demon who were like so powerful who conquered all the three planetary systems even they were defeated they were killed by the lord you know? so jiva is very insignificant okay so we should not be too proud about any other thing okay therefore the individual particle of spirit soul is a spiritual atom is smaller than the material atoms and so even a spiritual soul individual particle is smaller than even material atoms and such atoms are innumerable we cannot see that how many souls are there we cannot sankhya atito hi chitkanaha we cannot count okay these many uh, they are doing uh, population you know counting they will do no so but they can only count the souls which are in human body that also they cannot count very properly so innumerable souls are there innumerable just you can see some place where so much ants are there how many ants how many insects how many and this bacteria how many birds how many snakes how many trees just imagine how many trees plants creepers oh innumerable souls this very small spiritual spark is the basic principle of the material body and the influence of such a spiritual spark is spread all over the body as the influence of the active principle of some medicine is spread throughout the body okay like when a medicine is given so it goes throughout the body similarly the soul is existing throughout the body the influence even though it is very small is spark but the influence is spread in whole body all over the body okay actually that is small is spark only running whole body this current of the spirit soul is felt all over the body as consciousness and that is the proof of the presence of the soul okay so consciousness is the proof that soul is there because in the dead body there is no consciousness yes so
any layman, Prabhupada is saying that any layman can understand that the material body minus consciousness is a dead body and this consciousness cannot be revived in the body by any means of material administration. Once the soul gone, that's it. Whatever we have, we cannot do anything. Whatever we can try, all our uh, best effort, but we cannot revive it. Okay, so um, material body minus consciousness is dead body. Because when the consciousness is gone, that means if person is not having consciousness, he is dead. Because the soul is gone. So that's gone. Yes? So, and this consciousness cannot be revived in the body by any means of material administration. Therefore, consciousness is not due to any amount of material combination, but to the spirit soul. Though some people may think that, oh, consciousness is out of some chemical reaction happening inside the body or something like that. But it is not that. It is the symptom of the soul. Okay, consciousness is there because soul is there. And by seeing the consciousness, we can understand that soul exists. Seeing the symptoms, like by seeing the symptoms, the disease can be identified. Similarly, by seeing the symptom of the soul, the presence or the existence of the soul can be understood. In the Mundaka Upanishad, the measurement of the atomic spirit soul is further explained. Okay, so even you see, people are not able to find out details about soul, but Vedic scriptures are having very great detail, even the, even the size of the soul is explained. Okay. Esho Anur Atma Chetasa Vedic Tabbayo Yasmin Prana Panchadha Samvivesha Pranaish chittam sarvam otam prajanam yasmin vishuddhe bhivvati esha atma The soul is atomic in size and can be perceived by perfect intelligence. The atomic soul is floating in the five kinds of air. Prana, apana, vyana, samana and udana. Okay. So, so atomic size, uh, the soul is atomic in size and can be perceived by perfect intelligence. Okay. And uh, soul is floating in these five kinds of air. Prana, Pana, Vayana, Samana and Udana. So, basically soul is situated within the heart and it spreads its influence all over the body of the embodied living entities. When the soul is purified from the contamination of the five kinds of material air. So, soul is under this, floating in this five kinds of air. And when it is purified, its spiritual influence is exhibited. Okay, so the Hatha Yoga system is meant for controlling the five kinds of air circling, uh, encircling the pure soul by different kinds of sitting postures, not for any material profit but for liberation of the minute soul from the entanglement of the material atmosphere. So this uh, yoga which they do, the purpose of that Hatha Yoga is that try to control the five kinds of air. Okay. And so that you can, because soul has to come out of this influence of five kind of air, so Pancha Prana. So soul, by, by practicing different kind of sitting postures or different kind of asanas, yogas and practices, they, uh, they want to bring out the soul from the influence of the five kind of air. Liberation of the minute soul, that's called not for some material profit, like for good health or what you can say, like some people are doing yogas for some siddhis or some material profit. Not for that, not for sense gratification, but actually for the liberation of the soul, okay, from this panch prana, five kind of air. So the constitution of the atomic soul is admitted in all Vedic literature and it is also actually felt in the practical experience of any sane man only the see in common sense uh, we can understand that's what it is saying 
that uh, first of all by consciousness we can understand symptom of the soul secondary we can understand the symptom of the soul by common sense hai na generally when a person dies people say he left who left body is here so who left that the soul right so okay so he is no more so they say who is what is there and it is also actually felt in the oh, sorry only the insane man can think of this atomic soul as all pervading vishnu tattva very important thing so the soul is not vishnu tattva is jeev tattva so that has to be understood okay soul is individual soul is conscious about one body but parmatma is conscious of all the bodies okay soul lives at one time in one body but parmatma is there in all the bodies so soul uh, is not all pervading vishnu tattva theek hai sometimes you will may think that okay is not right to consider soul as vishnu tattva because jiva we are jiva we are not vishnu tattva okay the influence of the atomic soul can be spread all over a particular body the influence of the atomic soul can be spread all over a particular body according to the munda kopnishad this atomic soul is situated in the heart of every living entity and because the measurement of the atomic soul is beyond the power of appreciation of the material scientists some of them assert foolishly that there is no soul because this is too minute the size of just now we discussed the size of the soul so because of that is small even sometimes scientists who do research they cannot find out soul there so they say soul does not exist yes okay so that's the point the individual soul so scientists because they cannot see because they have not yet developed such uh, instruments such mechanism to see the soul so they foolishly they say that there is no soul but as your soul is there but it is a the their problem that they are not able to see the soul because if you see earlier uh, uh, they were having uh, this thing like Uh, what do you call earlier the microscope was not there so when it was not there the small small virus which they are able to see now earlier they were not able to see but that does not mean that these viruses or a small small uh, living entities they were not there they were there like uh, amoeba and all this they can only be seen through this instrument okay so or it's one can say no, no is it like uh, that when the instrument is um, invented after that only this living entities came in existence no they were always there but we were not having proper instrument to see them so now we got so we are able to see them is still there may be more smaller or you can say in another way like in sky there were so many things but before telescope was invented they were not able to see so even though they may not be able to see now so many more because every day they are improving their instruments right and we have seen that humans are having four defects so this humans who are having four defects when they will make an instrument that instrument will also have defect right so uh, when they are uh, like some scientists say this is the smallest living entity how you know some 100 years back you were saying another small animal as a smallest living entity but now you are seeing another one because you have developed another instrument which can see even more smaller things so in future you will develop another more so you can see even more smaller things so like that because it is the problem with the humans that they don't have a proper mechanism to see the soul so foolishly 
first thing is their incompetency that they don't have the facility to see the soul second thing is their foolishness that because they are not able to see they say there is no soul that's the point here okay because I cannot see uh, America sitting here so I say America doesn't exist I, can, I have never seen an uh, Indian Prime Minister face to face through my eyes so I can say he never exists okay so that's called foolishness yeah so the individual atomic soul is definitely there in the heart along with the super soul and thus all the energies of bodily movement are emanating from this part of the body. But intelligence person, intelligent person can understand through the symptom. Okay, because you may not be able to see a virus, but by seeing the symptom you will say that virus exists in this person's body. Yes, so... Same way, you may not be able to see the soul, but the, you are seeing symptoms of the soul, which is consciousness. So, that will tell that soul exists. The corpuscles which carry the oxygen from the lungs gather energy from the soul. Yeah, that's the important point. When the soul passes away from this position, the activity of the blood generating fusion ceases okay generally this is the heart is doing pumping and all from where that energy is coming the energy is coming from soul medical science accepts the importance of the red capsules but it cannot ascertain that the source of the energy is the soul to one extent medical science is saying okay heart is doing this or red capsules are doing this uh, importance but and they cannot certain the next point that the the energy to carry the oxygen in the uh, blood capsules is coming from where the uh, source of that energy is soul medical science is accepting to one point but next point of the existence of the soul or the soul is the source of energy is they are not uh, able to understand so medical science however does admit that the heart is the seat of all energies of the body. But they say heart is the main. Heart is the source of all energy when heart is pumping. Eh? But in that heart there is soul which is giving energy to heart to do all the processing. Okay. So that next level they are not able to reach. Because they don't have proper instrument. They are that is their incompetent. They, they are not capable of of doing that such atomic particles of the spirit soul such atomic particle of the spirit whole okay are compared to the sunshine molecule so spirit whole is super soul parmatma in the sunshine there are innumerable radiant molecules if you just see from in your room if some one ray of the sun comes through the small gap of window then you will see that so many molecules will be there okay Similarly, the fragmental parts of the Supreme Lord are atomic sparks of the rays of the Supreme Lord. Okay, same way. Like many, many innumerable molecules in the sun rays, similarly, the fragmental parts of the Supreme Lord are atomic sparks of the rays of the Supreme Lord. So the rays in that Brahma Jyoti or the, these small souls are there. Innumerable souls. Okay. And... They are called by the name Prabha or superior energy. So whether one follows Vedic knowledge or modern science, one cannot deny the existence of the soul, the spirit soul in the body. And the science of the soul is explicitly described in the Bhagavad Gita by the personality of Godhead himself. Okay. So Krishna takes so much effort, so much time to explain the and this one point, what is that? The soul does exist. Okay. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. Shri Baba Jai.